Hello everybody and welcome back to the character showcase, modded character showcase, whatever we want to call it. Today we are going to be jumping from Mastema to Tainted Mastema. Now this character, he um, he looks hard, <laughs> but very interesting. Now it's been a while since we played regular Mastema, so I'll kind of try and explain what he had. If I remember correctly, Mastema was essentially all... All items you took costed, uh, cost HP, um, and that was kind of the main gimmick behind him. You had to trade your HP a lot of the time. This character, however, while similar, he now has flight, as you can see, and triple shot by the looks of things. He also starts the Satanic Bible and Sanguine Bond, as we can see right here, and that's because items give this guy broken hearts, and Sanguine Bond and other things are going to be a way of us removing said broken hearts. So... It's going to be interesting. So as you can see here, we have the bag of trash. A familiar that creates blue flies upon clearing a room. Blocked in projectiles and after blocking it has a chance to be destroyed and drop breakfast. Uh, the more flaws, it's not destroyed. The more flies, it spawns. This is going to give us two broken hearts. Now, that may seem real, real bad, especially this early on. But we can use sacrifice rooms, sanguine bond, and I believe it removes one... I think it removes one um, heart, one broken heart at the end of each floor as well, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's just per chance that we got two uh, red chests then, or if that's a thing that this character has, but we got two um, broken chests there, and a ton of HP off a satanic Bible here. So yeah, this is a very interesting character. He's apparently quite difficult. Okay, he doesn't have spectral. That's something good to know. He, uh, yeah, he uh, he's apparently quite difficult, um, so... It's going to be rather intriguing to see. Another thing as well about this character, apparently we can bomb ourselves in like shops and boss rooms and item rooms to reroll items. So we can like trade HP for a reroll in sort of necessary times. So rather interesting. It seems very, very good. It's going to be a, a rather peculiar character for us, I think. But I'm, uh, I'm ready. I don't know if this guy can, um, can have normal health, by the way. I don't know if he's soul heart health only. Soul heart black heart. Or if he can gain normal HP as well. But the ca he looks gnarly. He looks amazing. It does seem like we're only getting red chests. And that is because this character, of course, has um, gone from Mastema's side of trying to repent to God to fully worshipping the devil. And as you can see, one thing that very much alludes to that fact is the fact that we have minus 6.66 luck. That is an incredibly low luck stat. I'm actually surprised we've managed to have any room drops so far. Uh, that's that's kind of nuts. God damn. Right, I don't I don't know how worth it this trash bag was, by the way. It doesn't seem like it was worth that much to us yet, because we're only getting like one fly per room, but I think the more rooms we complete, the more floors we get through and it survives, the better it's going to get. Okay, pop that again. I don't know how Satanic Bible is going to work with Deal with the Devil trades on, on boss kills. I'm assuming it's going to work the way I think it is, but I'm not actually sure. I am going to use a bomb here. It was the best bomb I've ever placed. Okay, we did indeed get a Devil Deal item here. This is going to cost HP and Broken Hearts, which seems dangerous. But I'm going to take it because I feel like getting a Guppy item early on a character that's going to be seeing a lot of Devil Deals is very, very good. Uh, another thing as well is I'm going to be wanting to... Yes, it did indeed remove a, it did indeed remove a broken heart here. But we could actually use the this uh, sack room here to remove a few more of those broken hearts. So that's very good to know that that, that exists. Essentially, um, I'm probably going to do that. But I do believe um, Sanguine Bond can also remove them. And while I'm not actually sure of this, but I'm pretty sure this character was made and sort of devised before Sanguine Bond got buffed. And I imagine this character is significantly better because of that. Because Sanguine Bond is actually a very respectable item, at least for me. Uh, now, it's it, it used to be just kind of there. And it was like, oh cool, I can break the game as the keeper and that's about it. Now, while it can cost quite a lot of HP, it can give you a lot more HP back. It can give you items back and damage ups, money. It, it can give all the same things, but the chances are just so much more in your favor. Uh, so let's see what we want to get here. So unfortunately, we do have uh, two items that are uh, not favourable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bomb myself here and see. Yeah, and do you know what? I'm I'm actually quite happy with that. 
Uh, I'm going to grab this here. This is in a bit of a rough spot. But I think we're going to go... I don't know how reliable this is, by the way, but I'm going to try it. Okay, that just that just straight up removed one. Okay, I think I'm, I'm happy with just removing one for now. I don't know if it's a chance or if it's a guarantee that it removes one. I'm really hoping we can get some statistical increases pretty soon, though. We're not in a great spot statistically. I'm trying to keep my trash bag from getting hit here. I really want to keep it alive and producing flies for as long as possible because that is really our only true damage up right now, which is a little sad. This room with flight but no spectral is just kind of annoying. <laughs> Ooh, my, my, my trash bag did get hit there. It didn't noticeably make any difference, though. Okay, good. There's one more of those dudes over here somewhere. There he is. Of course you hit me. Right. Okay. So I, th I think it's the longer I go without getting hit, the more flies it produces, but we're not doing a, a great job of that so far. We're getting, like, two per room. So far, I think the items we've we've grabbed for Broken Hearts have been pretty low value. Um, they've not been the greatest items in the world, but they're helping somewhat. Uh, let's fight our boss here. And I'm definitely going to use um, this here. It just insta-killed him. I kind of wasn't expecting that, actually. Um, and then we get the medical bill. Refills all... Okay. We. I don't think we want that. I don't think that's worth anything to us, really. Um, okay. Okay, we got we got some very interesting stuff here uh, because we've actually got sanguine bond and black chests. Okay, so let's let's first of all take a look at our items. We got the quasar here consumes all item pedestals in the room and gives you three wisps for each consumed. Now this would be good, but every item costs, so this isn't actually very valuable. Prevents contact damage from enemies spawned by other enemies. On use attracts all enemy children towards you and proceed. Um, proceeds them into orbitals. While the effect is active, touching these enemies will deal 15 damage. I'm not going to lie. I can't really comprehend what on earth this does. It sounds like it turns enemies spawned by other enemies into orbitals. But that doesn't sound that good. It seems to be an active item as well. I, I don't know how to feel about that. That doesn't sound that great. But it is only a quality two, so maybe that's fine. Right, so let's play this a little bit. We already got a small damage up there from that black heart. Uh, we'll remove as many thingy hearts as we can here. That's a lot of money. Good, good. Um, let's play these black chests a little bit. I can see forever. It's giving us a black heart. Good. No, no not again. Yuck gives us a soul heart. Good, good. I'm going to go whole hog here. I think we... What did we get there? I don't even know what we got there. Oh, it made, it made the items free. Okay, then. Um, I think I'm going to take this, then, I guess. I think this is slightly more valuable. Okay, so apparently taking damage can also make items free. I'm not sure if that's a base character. I like, I'm, not, I'm not sure if that's part of this character or if that's part of the... Um, I, I, I genuinely don't know. <laughs> I gotta say, I don't know. Um, ooh, li Little Abaddon. I think we'll take Little Abaddon here. Get another black heart here. Taking all the pills I can, because I think it's just worth it right now. We got a cracked spin down dice, which I haven't seen before. Um, pretty intriguing. And then we got Brimstone Bombs. Okay, I'll grab that too. Um, and invokes the spin down dice effect. This is very interesting. Okay, so this ended up being pretty valuable for us. Of course, you can see that I did end up spending a considerable amount of HP within that room. Um, it said that I was going to get ahead of the Keeper out of that guy. It absolutely lied to me. Um, I think what we're going to do with that... Ooh, we got a smelter thing here. Unfortunately, I don't think we can really use this. Okay, these little dangly spider boys need to calm down. Yeah, I'm not going to smelt a trinket here. I don't even have one I'd, I'd, I'd like to smelt. Oh, we started with the left hand. I didn't even notice that. I'm so dumb. Uh, anyways, I'm going to try and charge up my quasar thing in any possible way that I can. Oh, hello there. 
Um, so we'll definitely take Solar Lilith here. Oh, we got a Godhead baby. Um, and then, I, do you know what? Let's go and take Soul of... Wait, f first of all, let's let's do a little bit of research here. Missing page two, what does that spin down into? Because it doesn't actually tell me. So let's go to Plat God. Um, do a bit of research here. Missing page two is 262, so we're going to go 261. Proptosis. Um, hell yes. Okay. Forget that. Give me that spin down. I'm going to be sitting with a lot of, and a lot and a lot of broken hearts, by the way. It's going to be rather egregious how many broken hearts I have, but I feel like I have to. So this is going to give me three more broken hearts. Oof. Um, this doesn't feel great. <laughs> I got to admit, this doesn't feel great. But I'm kind of okay with it. We're taking quite a while on this on this um, floor here, but I kind of want to get as much done as I can. Sack room, I did, still don't really know about that. Um, ooh, we do get access to the special shop as well. I forgot this character got that. That's rather nice. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, it's a pathetic, pathetic shop. I will reroll here in case... Okay, we got an eraser. So... We did, however, get a charge if we should want it. I think I'm going to buy it anyways, just in case. And then, I guess we buy this, because it's not going to give us any hearts. And then we suck it up for more stats and more items. Seems like a reasonable idea. I don't know, this is... It's all new to me. This, this Basically, this character is my worst nightmare. And do you know why? Because I have a gambling issue. <laughs> I don't actually, but like I've said in previous videos, I struggle with gambling a lot. I know that I'd be um, I'd be real bad if I went and did some actual gambling. So this is scary for me. Uh, this is not something I should be messing around with. <laughs> this character is like the epitome of gambling too. Like, do you really want to push it that extra step? Do you re- Could someone tell me what the hell's going on with... Um, with Guppy's eye. Because it just straight up doesn't work most of the time. Also, the fact that we have Mr. Mega plus Brimstone Bombs is pretty incredible here. Um, nothing there that I want. Let's just check down here real quick. That is a very, very good item. But it costs quite the pretty penny. Um, quite the pretty penny indeed. Right, I think I'll leave that for now. So my Soul of Eden is like bombing myself in an item room. Um, but without the health associated cost. So, because it, it did say on the uh, on the, the description of the mod that this character, when bombing themselves in an item room, it will... Um, ooh, I think we should take that. Mm, actually, no. No, I won't. Um, yeah, it did say that, that it re-rolls them into any room's pool, so... $3 bill is pretty good. That would... That would completely fill up our broken heart quota right now, though, which is very scary. I think the Quasar's probably better to be used on most of these uh, items here, if, if I can. Like that one, obviously, I can't use it there. But I can use it on these... And that'll give me more um, Lemmigetan Wisps, which I feel is... This this Quasar thing is actually a, a quite a, a quite a good way to get around the um, the Broken Hearts. It's quite a good way for us to sort of cheese that a little bit. We're still gaining items, um, but they're temporary items. We don't know what they are, uh, but we don't get any Broken Hearts. I feel like it's a pretty good trade-off, really. And pop that again. So we don't have any spikes on this floor to use. I think as much as $3 bill is my jam, I think I am just going to um, use this here and gain just an absurd amount of Let Me Get and Whiffs, because apparently it sucked up all of those. Normally, items like that would only suck up one, but we got a ton of health here. Uh, a ton of items here, sorry. So yeah, this is a pretty, a pretty niche way of getting around some of the difficulty of this character, uh, which I'm definitely grateful for. Um, it's, a, it's a bit cheesy, but I will take. I'm sure... Uh, the, the developer of this, um, 
of this character is going to be a little bit displeased that I found such a cheesy way to get around one of the main downsides of this character. But at the same time, that that is one of the things. When when a mod creator creates some, uh, a new character, a new item, you think about the base game. You don't really think about what other people's mods could do. Also, Quasar is just an insanely strong item in general. Getting three random items for the cost of one item is pretty pretty insane. Okay, so we've got a lot of red health here. It'd be nice to take advantage of that, but I doubt we're going to be able to. Okay. Oh god, I do not like this room. Okay. I'm glad we got to use our spin down dice effectively as well. Okay, two items that I'm not all that pleased about here. So let's Soul of Eden them and see if we get anything better. Unfortunately, we didn't. So let's just pop that and get some more of these bad boys going on. I don't even know the items I have right now. Ooh, Mum's earrings. Again, pretty good, but we kind of require to get rid of some broken hearts first, I think. I don't even know what's going on right now. <laughs> There's so, we have so many items in play that I just... Like, we have... We have like twice the amount of items orbiting us that we do actual items. Also, another thing about this as well, we now have like a pretty permanent shield around us to stop us from getting hit by things. It's a uh, decent trinket, but I'm not going to take it. But yeah, this is a pretty bizarre uh, position we've managed to find ourselves in. Okay, so let's fight this boss. I'm hoping we get a um, devil deal. We didn't, unfortunately. And that's just not worth taking, so I'll come back and uh, turn you into wisps. But yeah, it's it's, it's allowing us to pretty heavily recycle um, and, and get significant usage out of items we otherwise wouldn't. Now, I'm actually really hoping for a sack room on this floor because we have plenty of health to play around with. Uh, I don't know if we'll, we'll end up getting one. Oh, we did. Good. Okay. This allows us to get rid of all of our broken hearts. Okay, it is just a chance. Yeah, it is just a chance to remove them because that didn't remove any. Surprisingly, sir. I think we keep going, though. I think we keep going. Okay, that didn't remove one. We did get an angel teleport, though. Which is going to give us more broken hearts. Uh, I, I, I just... At the minute, I can't... I can't put... Like... I can't do it. Okay, we moved a broken heart there. Gave us a soul heart back. In comes some troll bombs. Don't destroy all my wisps, they're my friends. And then one more. Yes, we got it. That's what I was hoping for. Okay. Now we're in a pretty good position. We managed to remove a good amount of broken hearts. Our HP is sitting pretty. Do we have a battery charge for sale anywhere? I don't believe we do. No, we definitely don't, because we uh, we got to keep a shop. So unfortunately, this item's going to be left untouched. I don't think really that's worth a broken heart at all. But we are in a position of power right now. Okay, we're, ne we're now down to just one broken heart as well. I think Quasar needs a, needs a nerf in the way of... One, maybe make it a 12 room charge. I'm not even kidding. That Like, it's a very strong item as it is right now. And make it so it only can void up one item that's in a room. Not all of them. <laughs> uh, because voiding three items in one room yielded us three items. Two of which we didn't even want for a total of nine items gained. Whereas normally we'd only gain one. Like, no matter what the items are, nine items, nine random items over one known item is almost always the way that you should go. Oh, we got Taurus in the mix as well, apparently, now. But yeah, we are like an unstoppable machine now, pretty much. School bag is an interesting one here for us. Hmm. 
And we managed to get a red rune as well. Hmm, okay. We can get another godhead baby for one more cent than we currently have. Which is kind of interesting. I do kind of like the godhead baby, I'll be honest. Pretty cool. Let's do some re-rolling though and try and get something a little bit better. That's actually pretty good. I, I will indeed take that. I will indeed take that. Right, let's get out of here. School bag's certainly an interesting one. I could get behind a school bag. Right, I'm looking for my devil deal at the minute. I just want my devil deal. Oh, I really need spectral. Oh, God. We're giving ourselves enough of a speed up to make Taurus kind of a significant problem. Although, Taurus plus all of these wisps, it does make our wisps invincible, which leads to a good amount of extra damage in our part. Which is rather nice. Yeah, like they the wisps aren't gonna die and we can just do this. That's actually, that's actually a pretty pretty funny little synergy there. I see you. I try I tried really hard to like push that bomb a little bit into the door. Did not work. Hey, we got this again. Um let's just make you pay out. Also, our trash bag is producing just the most absurd. Just the most absurd amount of um of flies now. <laughs> We've really created something insane. Okay, good. We actually managed to get perfection, which I feel with our current luck we should definitely take. Um, while shooting, 7% chance to launch a piercing dagger that deals no damage but inflicts bleeding all, um, on enemies. All enemies that die while bleeding drop a sacrificial blood consumable that gives you a temporary damage up. That's intriguing. I like the idea of that. Best of all, though, we go in here, and we are going to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. They're both the items free. One red hearts, two burn hearts isn't going to do much for us here. Okay, we'll have to leave it there. Sadly, that didn't really do much for us, but it did remove some broken hearts. I can't really afford that right now. I did have a soul heart lying around here, and I think we'll make our way back. Make our way back real quick. Ah, we haven't even been to our item room yet. Nice. Oh, what the hell? Where'd that bomb come from? What the heck? I shouldn't have been hit by that. Manuscript. Manuscript's pretty good. What keeps happening here? I managed to, um... Why is the spiders, like, falling non-stop here? Okay, so I'm going to take the rosary because I need the HP. And the fire rate's good. I think somewhere within my wisps, I have the mutant fetus, I believe it's called, from um, Alpha Birth items. And what that does is when you kill an enemy, it has a chance to... When you hit an enemy, sorry, it has a chance to drop a bomb on them. So what I think is happening is we're dropping bombs on enemies that are, that are um, creating Mr. Mega, like, Mega Bombs. Like huge bombs that are deal that, that have really big blast radius and we're hitting ourselves with them. Anyways, we managed to come out of this reasonably okay. We can't unfortunately take the ceremonial blade. I, I don't think that's uh, necessary for our success. We'll just keep moving on. We'll just keep moving on. Right. Broken hearts. We've actually managed to, to manage them reasonably well. Okay, so just watch out for random explosions here and there. Oh, for... Why does this room have to exist? Now, will this actually give us a soul heart? It will. Ooh, what the hell? Cool shades. Gives damage up for the room if used immediately after killing an enemy. The time frame for activating gets shorter for each of us for activation. That's very cool, but we don't have space for you, so we suck both. Oh... I don't want your love. I've got blue streak at the minute as well. I I apologize to the to the developer of this character for just breaking the hell out of the character so easily, but you know how it be. What yeah, okay, so you see you see those bombs there. You see those bombs there. Oh, what the hell? There was an invisible heart then. I don't know what, what that was part of. 
There you go. That, that, that time it dropped a brimstone bomb as well. This is kind of crazy. There's some bizarre stuff going on right now. Okay, you can go. Ah, you see, I hurt myself with it. God damn it. I can see the little bomb tears that I'm throwing out every now and again. They are pretty strong that they, that they take on your synergies. I didn't think they would, but apparently they do. Half a soul heart there as well. Oh my god. These enemies are the ones that create the most bombs. Basically a guarantee that one of those is going to make at least one bomb. Right. No thank you, Trinket. I think we managed to lose Taurus somewhere in the mix, which is I'm grateful of. Eternal Heart here. I guess we'll take the negative. This guy is the Dark Child, so it only makes sense. Right. We got Leviathan that time. Nice. We got a damage up there. Made something free. Right. Damn. We got a lot of damage ups, but otherwise nothing great. I am tempted to take the Void, but the Abyss is too strong. We move on. We managed to avoid quite a lot of Broken Hearts here. And we figured out this guy can actually have red health. Wow. Oh wait, can he? It just immediately turned into a Soul Heart. <laughs> he had red health for a second, and now it's gone. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I've not seen that happen before. Okay, keep on moving. Ooh, oh, really? I was gonna say, that's a perfect item. I'd totally take the hearts for that. The broken hearts. But no, it's not actually in there. That item would have been so good for us. That gives you like 7.77 luck, which would have put our luck into a way better position. Okay. This floor we can just rush through easily. Oh, we found a secret room there real quick. Oh, we got a thingy heart here. Oh, beautiful. Lots of crazy stuff here, right. Crack that open real quick. A soul heart, nice. Uh, I'm a little brim. I'm tempted by you. I am tempted by you. For sure, for sure. Lumber coal, I will 100% take. I don't mind the broken hearts for a lumber coal. Right, we're gaining damage ups here. Oh my god, I just keep getting the damage up. One more. Okay. <laughs> we're good. I'm sorry, little Brim. You are the best of boys, but I'm gonna I'm gonna have to stay, say goodbye. Please actually give me the item this time. Okay, it did. Uh I'll put random discounts up all shop items. Actually, not that good. For us right now, at least. It is good in general. Ooh, that's some big boy. That's some big boys. Oh my god. A lot of these are holy poops. What the hell? I'm not quite sure why, but a lot of them are holy poops. Well, that was interesting. I don't want to take a, a Giga Pill range down. I feel stumpy. Range up, look down. Speed up. Well, that was rather entertaining. <laughs> right, down we go. Right, we're still sitting with, I think, one broken heart, but this should remove it. There you go. Right. Get me out of here. Having flight off the bat is so useful for us here. God damn, these fucking mega bombs. Some crazy stuff going on right now. 
We're just wrecking every room we enter. Absolutely wrecking the place. Oh, what the hell? Um, quite a lot of the room just died the moment I entered. Not sure what caused that, but I know for a fact I ain't complaining. We could do hush, but we'd lose a lot of our wisps if we did hush. A lot of our, uh, yeah, it is wisps. I was going to say flies, but that's just me getting confused with the locusts. We do have a lot of money. We do have the keys available, so it is certainly tempting. So much money. Beautiful. We're getting half soul hearts from killing things every now and again as well. I'm not sure what item's causing that, but again, grateful. Wow, 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 wow. Um, see, the thing is, we're actually not that strong without our wisps, so I don't really want to do this. But I feel, I feel like I'm being a coward if I don't. I feel like I have to. Compound Fracture is insane for us right here. Um, so is Muramai Cursus, to be honest, but Compound Fracture is the thing I'm taking. And this is, this is a room to just gain more Wisps, I think. So we're going to go like that and just gain a few more Wisps. Steam Sale. Ooh, 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 please actually have... No. God damn it. What's with Guppy's eye and being co a complete and utter liar? It's very annoying. What's... What the hell's going on with this room? I saw a mat halfway through the wall. Um... Nothing I want right now. That would be three broken hearts. It is worth it, though. Literally doubles our damage. Completely worth. Right. Let's check what we got here. Actually got the Bible. Sadly no keys from any of these. Did get a lot of money back. Any way to recharge here? We have a battery in here maybe? No, we do not. We could potentially get one through this room. The Bible's here as well. Hello. Eden. Uh, Sarah Bethlehem, sorry. Also pretty good. I know for a fact it does not work on this boss, though, so not that good. Come on, give me a battery charge. Give me a battery charge. You know you want to. Damn it, the machine broke. Ooh, the Rose Thorn here. I'm actually going to take this. I know that that's a lot of luck to lose, but our familiars dealing contact damage is obscene considering how many of them we currently have. Okay. And then I think we Red Rune the rest of this stuff. And we just kind of hope for the best here. We hope for not too laggy a fight, which I know is asking a lot. One thing we do have on our side here is 14 incredibly strong bombs. Oh, hello. Our, um, our garbage bag finally, uh, died. It survived a long time, though. How, d how on earth are you going to explain to me how that bomb ended up there? But yeah, these bombs are going to be incredible. We are going to lose basically all of our wisps. Pretty much guaranteed here. But these go through his boss damage, like health pool, whatever you want to call it, his health gate. And they do buku damage. And then there's the brimstone part of it too. Got to remember the brimstone part of it. We got five left, so it's not it's not many, but we've managed to do a considerable amount of his HP already. We have lost a considerable amount of our wisps. I don't know what hit me then. D dude, how did my bomb end up behind me? Stop doing this. I waste so many bombs now doing that. Dude, where are you going? 
the bombs just have no idea what they're doing. Very annoying. So I'd like to get that health, but he has kind of sat on it. He has kind of sat right on it. Okay. We're doing alright here. I'm not quite sure what's poisoning everything, but again, I'm happy that it's happening. It's helping us a lot. This is where a lot of our wisps go to die, I think. I I think we lost continuum at some point. I'm pretty sure we had a continuum wisp and that's gone now. Gutsy Baby's doing a great job of just being flung around the room like a crazy person. Right, come on now. You're very, very nearly dead. Just chill out. I don't even, where, where are these laser beams? Oh, they're following the, um, <laughs> the scapegoat. They don't even care about me, but this, this time they do. This time they do care about me, sadly. Come on, I've not got many wisps left. Stop doing the bloody beams, you asshole. It's not fair. God damn it. Stop. We did get in there. Got that. We got that. And we are good to go. Wow, okay. We actually got through it without losing all of our wisps. I'm surprised. Yeah, it like gives us a red heart and then it immediately disappears. It's not how that's meant to work. Golden bomb here is rather nice. So we have lost a considerable amount of our items. But at the, at the minute, I think our base setup, Proptosis double damage, um, brittle burns. Not, is it not brittle burns? What the hell is it called? A compound fracture is actually a very good setup. And look right there. A few more wisps right there. Okay. Let's just go back over there and grab that. Boom, bow. Don't know what we got, but I'll be happy for it. I think we got Guppy's tail. Okay, just remember, everything's a champion now. Please actually have soul hearts in you this time. You do. I don't really know what the criteria is for this thing lying to me or not. It seems completely random whether it, whether it wants to lie. Good, good. I was just about to say I think we're going the right way. I was immediately proven wrong. I'm going to do this room just because... Okay, I literally can't. I don't have keys. Uh, that's good. I was going to do it just so I could um, destroy the lard. Turns out I can now. Reap creep? No thank you. Right. I just want to suck up this lard. There you go. Gone. Whoa. Whoa. I'm firing a beak to you now. And I've got fire going on everywhere. Ah, fuck me. Oh, damn. I crashed the game. Okay, be right back. Okay, we are back in it. Of course, we are at the start of the floor again. So I do apologize. We're going to be down a few items, but it was probably a lemma getting Wisp that caused us to crash it anyways. Because that seems to be a, a slight issue. They did actually uh, make it so that you can make certain items not show up as lemma getting Wisps, but... I don't know how easy it is to do for modders. It'd be nice, though, if uh, we could figure out some of the causes of some of these crashes here. Because I don't think they're always so clear. I think the floor layout's changed. I'm not going to... Oh, my God. I got hit so much there. Yeah, I gotta, I'm not going to lie. I have a feeling the floor layout has changed. This isn't how it looked before, right? Maybe I just never went down before? So we'll suck that up and hope for the best. Oh, we gained double damage that time. Okay, no. This is this is the same. I just... I hadn't been in this room yet. That, that, that confused me. Oh, God. We got one of the invincible dudes. He's invincible until everything else is dead. Very annoying. Pick up the other heart then, please. Why can't I pick up this heart? I do not know. Okay. We're just going to hope that it doesn't crash again upon leaving this room. I think it was this room, wasn't it? If so, we're in a tricky situation. 
Okay, so we're in a tricky situation here. <laughs> okay, so we're back and I've done a little cheaty fix just to make sure I spawned in some cards until I found which one was the Emperor. And we're just going to Emperor to the boss so we can skip past that room. I know it's a bit cheaty. I know it's a bit cheesy. But at the end of the day, it's what we got to do to get past that room. Not sure why it's crashing. Y you never really know in modding because... Isaac modding is so useless at telling you why a thing's crashed. I really wish more. I, 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 I can understand from the developer's perspective, especially considering it's modded, like why this is, doesn't exist. But it'd be so nice if there was some sort of in-game thing or crash message when your game crashed to tell you what went wrong, to tell you where the crash occurred and how it can be sorted. Like, there's no indicator as to what caused it. But anyways, we are here on the last floor, hoping for the best, and we get brimstone. No, we don't. Thanks, game. You're just a troll. You're just a troll, game. Uh, I may play it risky and take this. And that is one of the reasons why, because I love Conjoined. Ow, what the hell hit me then? Okay. This is good stuff. We have, we're firing just an obscene amount of tears right now. Uh, there's invisible enemies all around me. Hey, we got a soul heart out of that. Not that we need it right now, though. Luck Penny. Ho hopefully Guppy's tail is still in there somewhere. I know it was at one point. I don't know if it still is. But we, we have very low luck, so I wouldn't expect too many items here. Oh, my lord. What is this? I've got to open these now, because the chests just are lying to me. On such a regular basis that I don't trust what they actually say to me. I don't trust them, you see? I just don't trust them. Oh, it got me. You got me, you dastardly boy. But yes, uh, we've, we've, I think we managed to sufficiently break this character. Um, I still think this run would have been would have been very, very good. Even if we hadn't have, um, even if we hadn't got the Quasar item, I still think this run would have been very, very strong. But the Quasar item really took it a step up, because I think with this character, one of the biggest downsides isn't really the Broken Hearts, it's the limitation that the Broken Hearts provide. Like, if you're already at six Broken Hearts, you can't hold more HP to sacrifice, which means that you can't afford to sacrifice as much HP to get rid of said broken hearts. So you can't afford to take another item that gives you another two broken hearts. It limits the amount of items you can take in a really clever and interesting way. I think the developer's actually done a fantastic job with that character. Um, and as much as that showcase may not have demonstrated the difficulty of this character, this character does have some significant difficulty around it. And either way, I think that was a really fun run, and it did it did showcase the character to the fullest extent, I think, even with the uh, slight game break. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.